Hello everybody, welcome back to Yumaniki. Um, I'm going to be continuing from where I left off last time. Um, I have a basic outline for what I want to do here. So, let's back. Uh, so we don't really need to do anything in the waking world at the moment. Um, so I'm going to head right back into the dream world. Uh, so I. Okay. So last time we got a few effects. Um, I have another one. I want to get before we move on, um, which is here. Oh, let me equip the bicycle. This is Candle World, and I'm looking for a certain little guy. Yeah, this one. So that's the main use of the stoplight here, is that you can slow down fast NPCs like this dwarf. So now we get this effect, um, which makes you tiny. Um, you can press one to clone yourself. And then to do that. Anyway, um, but yeah, um, I just think this effect's cute. to go back to Candle World yet, I don't think. Um, I'm going to go to Numbers World now. This is Numbers World. Um, it's a bit funky, as you can tell. Um, this is probably going to be the focus of this episode. Um, there's a couple different areas or sub areas in here that I want to go through with they have effects yeah so this one's the like bedroom I guess it's a bunch of beds it's this one this thing um, one of the toy minions um, the, this one's not crazy though, um, but what I'm looking for here is this blood wall, um, and this is how we get here, this is guillotine world, there's a fucking bunch of these guys around, um, and we want to evade all of them and get to the guillotine here, okay, and then to escape we have to find the right closet. No. Um, oh well, outrunning these. Okay, there we go. I got it. Um, that way it went better than a lot of my Guillotine World account encounters. Um, def it's for definitely one of the more stressful worlds. There's enemies everywhere and the f Guillotine and, um, oh, and the effect you get in there is the severed head, which is 
quite disturbing. Um, but yeah, um, so also I wanted to go to Lamp World, which is this way. Um, as you can see, this is a one of a, a, a pretty large world. Um, there's a bunch of numbers around. They don't seem to mean anything. Oh, here's this place. There's like an NPC that goes through here like very slowly, but um, I've I've never seen it, and I don't intend to because, from what I understand, it takes a really long time. Um, I'll ju I'll just do a little tour around here for now. Um, we have plenty of time. Um, that's the door to Lamp World. I'm not going to go through there yet. Um, one of these, one of the zipper tiles here is going to be kind of important later, um, but we can't do that thing yet. Um, oh, and then there's also these guys, the open wheelies. Uh, you can't interact with them. I'll, uh, I'll see if I can find some more of them. Because there's, there's a couple. That's the number one door. This world's kind of like maze-like. Um, it's visually very interesting, and the sound is very ominous. Um, I actually have not explored. Uh, number world a ton on my own. I don't think I've ever seen all of the wheelies. Oh, I've heard If you use the traffic light on one of these, they, yeah, they change Definitely interesting um, And there's a face I don't think I've seen that before Oh, and this guy um, that's the stabbing room, I believe. I, I don't intend to do that. I might, but I guess it d depends on what whoever's watching wants. Um, whether you guys would want me to go do that world or not. Let me just wrap this up. Oh, I Pretty creepy. Um, is there one more? I don't know. Um, but yeah, I think that's uh, good enough for now. I'm gonna go head over to Lamp World. Um, So yeah, this is Lamp World. It's a bunch of lamps. Uh, I believe I need to go off this direction. Yeah. There's another section of this thing, um, this river. Um, yeah, 
Um, but what I want is up here, I believe. Um, I overshoot it. I might have. Um, I'm just doing this from memory, so I'm not exactly sure if I'm going to the right place here. Um, I think this is generally where it should be. Um, no, that's too far. It's easy to get lost in these places. Oh, there it is. Um, so yeah, this is the walking lamp, that's how you get the lamp effect, which turns you into also a lamp. You can turn yourself on and off. And this will be useful for some things later. Um, there's one other thing I think is here that I might try. Yeah, here it is. So this brings you here on the checkered tile um, path this I think I showed you guys this area last time and mentioned that we'd find a way to get here eventually um, but yeah we can use this effect now or here I'll just show you how it looks normally so normally you go up to this closet um, and you can see what's in there but it's a little difficult but here you can just see the whole thing that it's Matatsuki hiding in the closet it's like it's crouched over which is um if you if you are playing as Matatsuki you can press one to sit down and eventually I believe they will lean over like in the closet um yeah but anyway so yeah i just wanted to show you that and um now i think that's all i really need from here oh huh i haven't noticed that before might as well just take a look around this area, I guess. Um, doesn't seem to be anything else. Um, and down and to the left should be the door. Yep. Okay. Um. And I think that's all we need from Numbers World. So, um, where's the exit? Is it up here? Yeah, okay. Um, next, I think I'm going to do Dark World. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I might as well get it out of the way. Um, this is Dark World. Need, this is what you need the lamp for. Um, you can't see in Dark World without the lamp. Um, and we need to find hands. There's a big pair of hands in these floor markings somewhere. But I can never remember exactly where it is. I think it might be somewhere down from here. There's also these things. And you can see it's, you can't basically see anything if you don't have the lamp. Um,
one's definitely um, very eerie. Oh, and there's also this thing. Um, this guy, I don't think you can interact with though. Yeah. There's a couple other NPCs like that that look like that one that you can interact with, but not this one. I think it just follows you around now. Kind of. if I'm going in the right direction. Looks kind of like a skull, doesn't it? Like the bottom, like jaw area. I think I saw that already, so I'm gonna go a little down. I might be going in the wrong direction still. No, that's the door, so I'm going to try this way. Is that thing? Or what about? This one's definitely one of the easiest ones to get lost in because of the near absence of landmarks. Here it is. And in between the two hands. I have mostly avoided using the knife except in certain instances where I felt it was, I don't know, worth it. Um, I, I guess I, I did not feel like it was a good thing to hurt the NPCs, so I didn't want to do that. Um, but yeah, that's Dark World. We're going to have to go back there for a while. Um, but yeah, I'm trying to think. Um, I'm not sure if I actually showed you guys the checkered tile path or if I'm just remember misremembering. So I'm just going to take a little trip or along it just for fun, I guess. Um, I believe it's this way. I do love how you can just hear the, the little dwarf always, like his blowing sword. So yeah, this is pyramid. You can enter the checkered tile path. Um, you have to get past that thing. Um, the lunatic toy ninja. Um, okay, okay, okay. Whew. Yeah, that's where the lamp takes you. If I didn't already show you that in the last episode, I feel like I did, but I'm not. I'm not a hundred percent sure. Um, there's more lamps around here. Um, it's a little hard to navigate, um, considering it's uh, diagonal and your character isn't exactly made to go diagonally. Um, which is a you know, it's used. This this design is used quite a lot in this game. Um, but I, mean, I I do love this area though. Just the music and the the purplish clouds in the background over this seemingly floating path of purple and white. It's, it's just such a fascinating place to look at. Um, and, you know, I've just... 
like I guess just that that's one of the things that I love about Yuma Nikki is just how incredible it is to just explore like I've been I've played this game already several times and still I feel intrigued and wanting to continue and wanting to see the visuals and the sounds that it portrays in so well um but yeah um this guy can go to hell so yeah um that so i've gotten through pretty much everything i wanted to get out of the way for this episode so i'm probably just gonna look around here a little bit um and then um, make my next save. Um, oh, I like this place. We we haven't gone here yet, but I I like this place. Um, so yeah, um, I'm gonna wake up. And save the game. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight effects. That's one third of the way through the game. Um, I believe. Yeah, that's right. Um, but yeah. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. Um, I will continue to uh, make these videos until I beat the game. Um, I hope you guys enjoy. Um, if if you have still are watching and you haven't played Yuma Nikki yet, really can't suggest it enough. Uh, it's just a wonderful game. Um, but yeah, bye.